Santa baby, why don't you come to me, baby? I don't know the lyrics to Santa baby. That song used to get me horned up as a kid. I'll tell you what, yeah, I'll tell you what scares me is the baby, I, I really can't stay. Baby, it's cold outside. Oh, that song's scary. It's about a guy who's just like, you're not going home. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bingo. My name is Stretch. This is the last time you mess with Stretch. <laughs> Fade. We are taking a few weeks off the holidays, but we will be back February 28th. <laughs> it's a long break. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, we're taking a few weeks off for the holidays, but we'll be back June 4th. Uh, sexier than ever. Monday, June 4th. <laughs> June, June 4th. Just in time to shoot off some fireworks for you and your friends following in July. Um, <laughs> which we'll be then taking off again. And uh, we'll be back on November 2, uh, 2025. Is this the last time we're recording this year? I guess so. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, everybody, this, well, is, this is the last. Yeah, this is the last time we'll be recording this year. I'm uh, going to take a few weeks off to recharge, but we will be back for real on January 8th, 2025. That sounds about right for me. I think yeah. that I think I could commit to that. Yeah. I, yeah, I think I'd be like, yeah, maybe back maybe back then. <laughs> I, I, th I think by then I will fully be recharged. I think I can do that. <laughs> After all the audio issues, I'm sure that having like almost two years off or whatever will uh, – that that that'll give me enough time to fix all the audio issues for sure. Yeah, just just enough time to figure it out. No, actually, we'll be back January eighth, two thousand twenty six. Pretty good. Yeah. Whatever. We're taking this is our last fucking episode for the year. We'll be back in January sometime. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Um, December plans. Last time we recorded this year. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> what? what Hunter's riffing? Can you guys not interrupt him? This What's is all wrong? from the top of the dome, and you guys keep interrupting his train of thought, you fucking assholes. What do they say? They just keep, you know. I, I just I keep hearing uh, I keep hearing little snickers, dude, and I don't like it. Yeah, yeah. No, that, I mean, <laughs> I need you guys to knock off the snickering, okay? What is the spot? Of, are we talking about our Spotify Wrapped? Who gives a shit, dude? We listen. Oh, we listen I to don't, some I don't fucking even, music. Do you even know what yours is? I don't even know what mine is. No, I don't look at that. You know why? Because I listen to the things I want to fucking listen to. I don't care how much I listen to it. Yeah. All right. The last time, yeah. the only thing I rank in this household is the amount of league, like the 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 rank that I get in League of Legends. What what what's your uh, what's your rank currently? Master. Come on, give me give me the actual challenger. One hundred and fifty-seven points. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Korean server. Yeah, well, well you'll Korean get that one day, server. sweetie. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Now, that's one lie I will not let you get away with. That you're even playing on a basic level on a Korean server. I just know it's not true. I just want to go. I just I just got interjected with the thought here. Uh, the next topic that we had on our list here is what animals are you giving sentience versus killing? Where did that come from? Um... Yeah. Does that mean like you wouldn't kill a dog, but you would kill a deer kind of situation? It's like smash or pass, but it's, do you want to give them something <laughs> or do you want to? Oh, dude, it's like smash or pass, but like the deep philosophical version. <laughs> I'd rather just say what I fuck the animal or not. Yeah. Smash or pass the animal. Yo, that bunny's looking mad cute, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Yo, a smash bunny. on that bunny for real. <laughs> Ryan's over here crawling. He's crawling. He's got his ass him. in the air. I can see him crawling. All right. Um. Anyways. Um. Hey, I knew it, dude. You oh, shit! Don't even show these don't, children's hey, animations. Attempt, would you smash attempt. Lola Bunny? Huh? The '90s Lola, I would. I Not mean, that flat-chested fucking bitch of a new one that they had. <laughs> 
just be super, super aggressive. Dude, about don't it. talk about me like that. I'm working out, okay? I'm trying to. That was to the get... funniest thing about the new one was people were just like, "She's not even hot anymore." <laughs> I like yeah. that. That was like a big. Com- uh, that was like a big complaint. Yeah, why do they have to make Lola look so fucking like uggo for real? Uh, yes, <laughs> McQueen. <laughs> it just a bunch of people telling on themselves. <laughs> yeah, put that in a jar, dude. I put that in a jar. Ah, oh, you sick bastard! I I I give I I I'd give my offerings every day if I had to. To a Lola jar, yeah. Oh yeah, oh big time. It's funny when you just mention jar and then a person goes, "What? What's the? What's that?" And you got a comment that jar. Yeah, a little tribute jar. A little that's what I call. It. I I feel like Winnie the Pooh whenever I have a jar that I'm paying tributes uh. to. <laughs> Why? Because you're oh, turning it upside down and trying to empty it. <laughs> yeah. Why does it oh, smell so good? <laughs> what's the What's the hot thing that Lola says in the in the Space Jam movie? What did she say? Uh, th- isn't she like mm, fuck yeah? If Lola Bunny in the '90s Space Jam said uh, fuck yeah, that shit would be on like 4K Steelbook Blu-ray in my house <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, she said. You know what she says? She says, "Don't ever call me <sighs> doll." Whatever. Oh. And then everybody's hard, even the women. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, I thought. What's, what's oh, number I thought, one? I thought. Oh, I what's thought she was one? like right fucking there. Yeah. I thought that's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> I, thought, I, I thought that's what she said. Bugs is like, I think her and MJ have been in the locker room for a long time. <laughs> Well, we should probably go. <laughs> we should probably go in there and see what's going on. Who, uh, who, vo- who I voice? I believe Bugs I can fly. Because <laughs> they yeah. play that song like four times in Space Jam. <laughs> dude, it was emotional. <laughs> He's just like taking her ass to town, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I believe I can touch the sky. Wait, actually though, who voiced Bugs Bunny? It'd be really funny if you said who voiced Michael Jordan. Um, I don't know who voiced him. Mel Blanc. Mel Blanc, he didn't voice the Space Jam version, though, did he? That motherfucker died, when, like, a long time ago. Yeah. I believe I can fly. They try to recreate the same sex scene with LeBron and Lola in the new one. And they're just like, <laughs> it's just not the same. God, LeBron. Can't even fuck maybe, Lola Bunny right. <laughs> maybe maybe put 1996. Oh, like my God. Zendaya fake. voice Bugs? No shot, man. I just need to know. What an iconic fucking movie, dude. Yeah. Space Jam. What a good one, dude. Did you watch that Michael Jordan doc and then they <laughs> they inserted Space Jam in there like it was so detrimental to his career? I mean, to be fair, bro. Don't don't uh, first off, I, I I despise you trying to underutilize what Space Jam was to the world. And also I think that they were saying that it was No, it no, no, that, no, it, no, no, it, no, it, no. They saying, weren't saying that it was detrimental to his career. I think they were saying that like it was it was impossible amount of workload. Like he'd go to the set, and then he would still go and practice and win a fucking championship. I thought in the doc they were saying that it was like a disruptive to his career. Oh, I don't know. No, I don't think that was. I don't think. I think it was. They won it. They still won a championship that year. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say because I thought he still won, but I was gonna oh, say Billy West. That makes sense. Don't Billy even. That's an iconic voice actor right there, dude. That's the guy who does uh, uh, Stimpy. Oh. He's like, he's he does a bunch of voices. Billy West. Um, anyways, man. We got a... Um, I just want to read the beginning of this uh, chapter of this book. If, if I have mine in the room, too. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't cracked it open yet. That's fine. If you, you guys remember... You guys may remember a little segment about... Uh, a, a novel by Samantha Christie called No Small Bet. And if you forgot, let me jog your memory. All right. Just a line out of chapter two. This is Addison. Ready? Can you give me the page number? Page nine. Chapter two is on page nine. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of quick, right? There's 187 chapters. Um, it starts in a dramatic way. <laughs> My leg fell off again. (laughs) 
Oh, yeah, because this is the one about she's like a quadriplegic or some shit, right? Yeah. 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 Her and Mr. Hawking. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Samantha Christie. <laughs> hey, guys, you want to take a quick break to thank today's sponsor, uh, Manscaped. Santa, baby. The season for a fresh cut is finally here. Oh, I thought you were going to keep going. With the sponsors right. of today's show, Manscaped, the leaders in below-the-waist grooming have just launched their fifth-generation performance package to help you avoid another silent night in the bedroom this year. <laughs> that was a good one, right? I came up with that on my own. Take care of your special snowflake. Take care of it with the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. Get the best stocking stuffer of all by going to manscaped.com and using code STRETCH for 20% off plus free shipping. You know, and the, well, the reason I like these so much is because whenever I'm shaving my cock and my balls, my asshole and all that stuff, especially my cock area, I have to lick, lift up my fat stomach and really take that thing and mow it down with my hands. I don't really know where I'm going, but with the way how smooth it is, it's like butter. I mean, I'm able to get every nook and cranny, and it really does make for the perfect gift for every, It makes for the perfect Christmas gift for everyone, and it's very, very nice. And Manscaped is one-stop shop for all your holiday needs. They have the perfect gift and performance package 5.0 Ultra, which includes loads of perfect stocking stuffers. Starting with the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra, the electric razor's advanced skin safe technology is a lifesaver and a nut saver, if you know what I mean. It's known for reducing <laughs> nicks and cuts on your Santa sack. <laughs> Anybody in the family have too much scruff? Well, look no further than the Manscaped Beard Hedger Pro Kit and Handyman Electric Face Shaver for all of their facial hair needs. Try the Weed Whacker 2.0 Nose and Ear Trimmer for, or their new Shears 3.0 Nail Grooming Kit. Plus, take care of the chestnuts. <laughs> chestnuts. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, with the Manscaped Boxers 2.0 featuring their signature jewel pouch to keep you calm, cool, and collected. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code STRETCH at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code STRETCH. Say ho, ho, ho to a well-groomed mistletoe with Manscaped. My leg fell off again. Lionel, my physical therapist, stares down at my prosthetic with a frown. He's been my PT since I lost the lower part of my left leg four years ago. Hunter, you'll be relating to this pretty soon after all that orange juice. Mm. I don't Sorry, see him. I'm so invested in the book right here. I'm reading along with you. Okay. I don't see him nearly as much these days as I did back then, but I still need him from time to time. Being an amputee comes with a good deal of pain as the imbalance can lead to lower back problems, shoulder pain, and neck discomfort. Lionel is a god at helping me relieve it. He's the reason I wanted to go into physical therapy in the first place. Something I'm not so sure I want to do anymore. Also, I add, my hip really hurts lately. He runs a hand over the socket of my prosthesis. <laughs> it's not funny. I'm just laughing at the chemistry here. Down the pylon and across the foot... I hear you've been working at Donovan's. Oh, that's not his voice. <laughs> it's still her. I hear you've been working at Donovan's for a few months now. He looks at me like I'm five years old. Hey, what the fuck, man? No. Um, he looks at me like I'm five years old. Addy, I know you don't like to think of yourself as having limitations, but being on your feet all day is going to cause you issues. Walking on a flat foot that doesn't have flexion like your real one is very hard on the hips. You want to take over here, Hunter? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Anyways, what other hot news we got going on before the end of the year? Santa is coming to town. Yo, he is. Yes, he is. Did you ask for anything? Did you? All right, well, actually, here's a here's actually an even better question because I don't know about you. I've gotten I've gotten my I've gotten my employees' Christmas presents. Have you d done the same? Even to the ones who maybe don't even celebrate the holiday. Yeah. That's it? <laughs> Just yeah? <laughs> Just yes? There, sorry, there's nothing really funny about that, but 
from my angle, it's really funny to see you go, I got all my employees Christmas gifts. And then Harry walks up and brings you a coffee. Yeah, thanks, man. Uh, yeah, no, I got them all cars. Can we get David Dobrik on as a guest for the podcast? What, what, what would you want to ask Mr. Dobrik? What would you want to ask him? Uh, d- uh, d- can we get him on as a guest for the podcast? <clears throat> what do you want to talk to him about? I don't know, fucking anything. What, do you, you, you have nothing that you'd ever want to say to David Dobrik? Not really. What was it like killing that guy? Yeah, yeah. Actually, yes. Yeah. Well, hey, man, when you murdered Jeff, did it feel good? Because, you know, uh, cops and military <laughs> say that when they shoot someone, you yeah, come away from that with like a bloodlust. So we're curious if it was kind of the same uh, kind of the same thing. You see that clip going around of that cop who like <laughs> he one shots that mass shooter? Wait, yeah, it was an impressive shot. Yeah. Impressive shot. And then he's just like. Yeah, he's down. We just called yeah. him, and he's down. Yeah. Well, uh, going back to it, though, are you actually getting your your uh, which employees are you getting gifts for? I'm sure there's a couple that you're getting gifts for, and then some people are getting left out because you're just like it's just the name of the business. Yeah. Who is it? I wanted to put you in that on that spot because everyone in the room is looking at you right now with probably big puppy dog eyes, and they're probably like, "What's he going to get me?" Uh-huh. And knowing Noel, he's going to cheap the fuck out on it. Yeah. Y'all just want to say thank you so much for another hard ass year. You get him like a candy cane or some shit. Yo, appreciate your sweet dreams. Now I'm gonna walk around the room and be like, "Hey, man, uh, I want to give you the gift of gratitude. Thanks for being here." <laughs> the gift of gratitude. I would quit that day. <laughs> I would I, unironically be like, "I'm never fucking working here again." I just shake everyone's hand. Hey, man, I want to give you the yeah. Gift of gratitude. Honestly, Merry Christmas for real. <laughs> there's your present especially if you said it like in that way too like you you made it very obvious that you're like this is what i'm getting you yeah merry christmas here's your gift handshake like, and a hug i like when you do my voice i sound so much cooler than i am you sound like i i do probably the closest impression anyone will ever do of you <laughs> nah 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 <laughs> nah for real I, yeah nah what do you so which person which persons are getting gifts uh, yeah, it's me just sweating bullets. <laughs> I like when you uh, impersonate me. Do some more of that. Hmm, who's gonna get a gift? Who wants a gift? Unironically, okay. Well, first off, you can't you can't uh, rectify it now. But I mean, previously before this conversation, were you thinking about getting these people a gift of some kind? Yeah, the gift of love. Okay, so no, this is more of the story. Yeah, no, no, there were no there were no plans for gifts, man. Come on, man. We run a big company here. That's why we do the Secret Santa. We make them buy the gifts for each other. Then That's I just smart, actually. Then I just stand That's around. <laughs> You're like, why didn't I do that? <laughs> so, so, some somehow, some way, it's associated that that gift was a part of you as well. Yeah, and I just stand with my hands in my pockets, and I'm like, ah, don't you love this camaraderie? Well, it's gonna be really fucking awkward after this conversation when like someone gives you like a nice. It, it, the thing too about a gift is it doesn't have to be extravagant, right? Oh. It doesn't need to be super expensive, but someone's going to come up and be like, hey, just well, like, appreciate this. And you're like, oh, wow, look at this. And then you're going to be like, hey, thanks for this. And it's going to go home. And you're going to put it in the fucking trash. And you're like, hey, sweetie, Alina, let's go to Barbados for Christmas. Yeah. You know, Merry yeah. Christmas to us. Yeah. Throw, And then you, you hold the gift like this, and you're like, yeah. throw this away. <laughs> no, I TMT take the- socks. Ugh. And I take the employee gift and I go, thank you so much. And then I close the door and I go, oh, yuck. And then I, yuck, yuck, yuck. yeah, and I'm vomiting and puking on myself. No, I think, um, I think if we had a hardworking producer, you know, I'd want to get a gift for that person. Mm. If only. If only. That's rude. That's rude. <laughs> Ovi, well, have you ever gotten you, a I, gift uh, from any of your previous employers? What was your last gift? When I quit my last job, she gave me a bottle of wine. A bottle of wine. That is not a gift, Ovi. That's a gift. That's definitely a gift. Is it? Was it a nice bottle? I didn't look it up. Oh. I don't, <laughs> Ovi's like, I'm a I good person. Like I didn't a, value even a, it. Even an $8 bottle of wine still feels like something where a bottle of wine is kind of a catch-all to where it's like you you can either show up to a dinner date with that. You can show up to a new house. It's kind of a universal gift, actually. Does it work at a funeral? I think it definitely does. Yeah, yeah, because it's slow. You're gonna be wanting to suck it on this. Honestly, we, we all miss Bobby so much. <laughs> Here you go. Is it is it appropriate like an indictment? 
I don't see why not. Why wouldn't we? Because <laughs> if anything, we're celebrating. We're yeah. Well, we're celebrating your little freedom that you have left. Maybe. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. It's the, right? it's the last. Yeah, it's the last drop before yeah, exactly. they take to you and yours. Y'all just have like one of those tiny Italian glasses of wine. Yeah, I guess it's my Godfather. <laughs> there's really no time that wine's inappropriate. Honestly, I'm trying to think of it. Literally, there's no time. The only time that it would be inappropriate is if it's like you're 12 months sober. Yeah. Well, no, because then it's... Like, you could cook with it. it. Wine, even even if you're 12 months sober, it even seems a little kind of romantic there, too. Perfect business gifts for any occasion. What was that? What? Something I heard like an, a an ad. Was that on our end, Nick? Okay, well, I don't know what happened. I think Nick's watching porn in the bathroom or something like that. <laughs> Hey there, are you big jerking cock? off alone? Are you are you jerking off alone? <laughs> Every time. <laughs> hey there, fat dick. Are you tugging it alone? Dude, if someone called me fat dick, that would be awesome. That's a great that's a great name to be called. <laughs> yeah. Fat dick. Yep. Yo, what's up? This is my buddy Noel. This is Kiki. And over here, this is fat dick. <laughs> what up? <laughs> Salutations. Is what I would say. Dick. I feel like Fat Dick would de would definitely be like a skinny kid, and it's ironic. Yeah, because yeah, he's got a big old cock on him. Either that, or they're just making him even more insecure. Nah, my man's got a fat cock, don't you, buddy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Miracle Made. Now winter is here, and for me, that means struggling to find the right temperature when I sleep. <laughs> I recently found a way to stay at the perfect temperature all night long using silver-infused bed sheets by Miracle Made that were inspired by NASA. <clears throat> Miracle sheets are luxuriously comfortable without the high price tag of other luxury brands and feel as nice, if not nicer, than sheets used by some five-star hotels. Using silver-infused fabrics, Miracle Made sheets are thermoregulating and designed to keep you at the perfect temperature all night long so you get better sleep every night. Miracle sheets are the perfect gift for your spouse, friends, or family. Who doesn't want better sleep and luxurious feeling bed sheets? And since these come with three free towels, you get two gifts in one just in time for the holidays. Stop sleeping on bacteria. These sheets are self-cleaning and infused with silver that prevent up to 99.7% of bacterial growth, leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh for three times longer than any other sheets. Go to trymiracle.com slash stretch to try it today or gift it to someone special this holiday season. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Save over 40%. And if you use our promo code STRETCH at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20% off. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you'll get a full refund. Upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash stretch and use the code STRETCH to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash stretch to treat yourself, a friend, or a loved one this holiday season. The uh, Well, I want you to know that I got you a Christmas gift. You What? And if I got and if I and if I don't receive one back, I'm gonna tell you right now, you're not getting it. What? So this is my this is my proposal to you. You okay. get me a gift, and it has to be thoughtful because mine is thoughtful, or you did not get yours. And I know that that's that's not how gifts work, but in this case, it is. Okay. Because all this stuff was a test today to see how charitable how how much did you appreciate giving someone a gift in these times of just of give of being thankful for people in your life. Okay. And so far you've done you've shown that you're doing nothing. No, what are you talking about, man? I look people What in are you eyes. getting Alina for Christmas? <laughs> Come on now. What? The gift of love, dude. <laughs> I like that. Every, every time, dude. Every time. Gift, what is this? A wiener toaster? What the fucker am I even looking at? This is a two what? slot hot dog and bun toaster with many tongs. That's kind of mean, Luke. You think you think Hunter wants this? No, I is, saying, Luke, is Luke saying that he wants it? Are you saying he's saying that my fat ass wants this? <laughs> That's really fucking insulting, dude. After I just fought for you to get a fucking gift, you're dead to me, dude. 
No, he's saying I get this for Alina. <laughs> Dude, if that, that'd be so Luke, crazy. that is unironically the craziest thing you could have said. This hey, is man, the, why get, hey, why don't you get this for your wife? A fucking wiener toaster. I like the I like the I like the, I like the, the wiener toaster. <laughs> Babe, you want a hot dog? Oh yeah, baby. Put throw one of them ballpark franks in there real quick. I like the idea of you also getting like it's like you put the Pop Tart pants in a Victoria's Secret box and you're just like, I want you to wear this for me. <laughs> you pull it off with your and teeth I want you to and you're shit like, it too. Tastes like cinnamon. Yo, you're what? sitting there getting ready to go down on her and you just take like a big gulp of milk from like a like <laughs> on the sock table. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. The hell, bacon bandages? Bacon bandages, dude. I f- I'm so I fucking hate bacon bullshit. <laughs> you know talking about when everyone's like, ba- well, I guess that was like more of like a 2008 meme, right? Like yeah, yeah. No, that's the millennial epic bacon narwhal. That was when every <laughs> restaurant would offer to put bacon on things. Speak. Speaking of uh, like tweets we saw, whatever. Did you see that tweet where it's like the millennials doing the Tom Hanks Thanksgiving thing? Oh uh, yeah. The person who wrote it, the person who wrote it was like, "This is the saddest group of individuals." Yeah. Like whatever. Like everyone knows these kind of people. Like what? It was like a whole like essay. Bro, it sparked so many uh, uh yeah video essays and opinions. Uh, and then people trying to stand up for it. Like, dude has never had a group of friends. Yeah, you're the cultured one in the group, and you have to let them know. <laughs> I'm like, let all these people who work at like H and R Block just have a fucking nice Thanksgiving. Like they're they think they're being cute and funny. That's all you need, dude. Yeah, yeah. Just That's let them do it because they're they're all ready to blow their brains out. So just let them have this. You know? Do you think they're all ready to blow their brains out? Do you think so? Actually, no. I think people like that are probably pretty happy. I was just say I think that they're like probably the happiest people on earth. Yeah. Yeah. They're just like, oh my god, we're actually going. Um, I don't know if you know this or not. We just got a reservation. And I think that he Tyler's taking me to Olive Garden on Thursday. <gasps> and it's like that's like a big thing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. This was so good. Everything is good, by the way. There's yeah. never a bad it's like there's never a bad meal. Yeah. There's never a bad time. It was so good. Oh, mm. so good. You know so I'm, I'm just about? picturing someone wiping their mouth after a couple of handfuls of Olive Garden and just mmm. Oh my so god! Good. This reminds me of the time when we went to Sicily to see your grandma. <laughs> He's like, "Baby, that was North Dakota." <laughs> yeah, Sicily, North Dakota. Um, who, no, no, no! You put all this pressure on me about a fucking gift, and you're like, "It's got to be thoughtful." Yeah, fine, thoughtful. What if I send you a fucking uh, a rowing machine? I would feel like that's an insult. I would say that it's it would be a good gift because I would need that, but I feel like it'd be coming from a very negative place. What if it's a thoughtful place? Like, I want your heart to work. Well, see, I think that even the way that you're saying that is a bit rude, and I think that you could approach it in a different way. Well, I'm just thinking of your heart. And I appreciate that. That's like me being like, I want to get you shin implants so you could be taller. Oh! <gasps> Hunter, and see that would be rude. Well, albeit unnecessary, because you you won't die from being short. <laughs> <But> <laughs> you know, that's not true. What if someone at a what if someone at a you know at a fucking bar takes their drink and they swing their elbow too hard? Clink, hit me on the side of the temple. Now I'm. You'd never dead. be in a bar because you're allergic to everything on Earth. Yeah, it's true. I'm Bubble Boy. You you are literally almost all you. You are borderline there to Bubble Boy. Yeah. In terms of diet, I'm pretty much there. I'd be like, hey, let's go grab a beer or something. Nah, I can't. Nah, I'm allergic, dog. Sorry. Hey, no, you know what? Oh, but hey, you know what I got hooked on recently? I'm like, oh, what? Coke Zero. Yep. I'm like, nice, dude. That's, yeah, baby. That's fucking, that's cool. Yeah. It's Super really cool. hardcore. I'm glad you found your uh, your vice. No, you know what, man? I... uh. I had a couple gin and tonics in Japan, and I had a thought of, I could drink these more. That's uh, very quiet of you to say. Yeah. Yeah. I had my fedora tipped and my manga open at a bar. <laughs> yeah. You're reading Death Note at yeah. the bar. Yeah. Uh, Bartendo, what exactly is this tweet called? <laughs> Do you speak Japanese? Uh, Yeah, man. What a fucking terrible lie. 
If you don't, if you don't know how to speak Japanese, just say you don't know how to speak Japanese. No, nah, I know Japanese. Mm. No, nah, I don't know Japanese. Does a lot do a lot of uh, people speak English over there then, or how did you communicate with people? <sighs> not, not really. Like it just depends where you go. Some yes, some no. Like some restaurants get a lot of Americans, so they, uh, you know, the chef will just know English. But um, yeah, it's it's a mixed bag. But there's a lot of menus in English, and a lot of the terminals and stuff has have English as an option. So you can definitely get around, uh, no problem, without speaking. Did you guys go to the same restaurant four or five times? No, actually, we went to a different place every day. It's I refuse to believe that. Okay. Why? After that Austin trip, dude. After that fucking Austin trip. I no, yeah. that. <laughs> no, that's why we went to Japan, because then we could actually eat Japanese <laughs> yeah, food. Yeah, there you go. That is true. We They just went to the same sushi spot like every day, and they were just like, dude, honestly, like changed my fucking life. One week in a row. We went every night. One week in a row. It's true. Yeah, every single night. And we made Hunter go every single night. We made him say every single night, you no, like no, it, I, right? I, I was there. I was there. I went there one time. I was very sleepy, and I got scolded for it. And then also, there was some tough fish there, and it was chewy, and everyone was dogging on me for how long I was chewing on something. They're like, this fatty should be able to swallow this quicker. Well, guess what, dude? I, I'm afraid of choking. No, Hunter right? is, is – this is like revisionist history right here. Hunter sat there <laughs> like you, a – How? How? Hunter sat there like a little three-year-old, and we're like – Eat your food, Hunter, and he just put his bottom lip out, and he was like, "No." <laughs> Dude, I fucking ate this stuff. You was weird though, as I was like, he I was didn't like, eat any other stuff. He was there's so, so picky. I, I, I'd say out of everything that was ordered, I'd ate like, I, I was in on eighty percent of everything you ordered. There was some stuff I was like, eh, I don't know, and then people were like, well, "Are you not gonna eat this?" Like it was a fucking crime. Yeah, the Dude, whole rest try turned to. Nah, I'm they okay. Were like, I'm waiting for the next thing. You should try it. Yeah. So I feel like every time, dude, I was fucking, I was harassed into doing it, and then the whole time they were just looking at me. They watched me eat the whole time. I was very self conscious. Yeah, the chef. And God forbid out, if I had the to chew. Came out and stood by the table and the waiter, and we were like, he he loves it. Show him. That's true. Yeah. Favorite thing I had there was the tempura onion rings. Those were those were insane. I didn't think onion rings could be so revolutionary, but they're very good. They're super good. Hey guys, you want to take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh, pre-portioned ingredients, and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Tis the season for giving and gathering, and with HelloFresh, it can be the season of saving as well. You may actually save money this month with fresh recipes delivered, which are cheaper than takeout, and with pre-proportioned ingredients so you'll never waste money on excess food. After a full day of work, there's still so much to do. Some days it feels like eating a wholesome dinner is next to impossible. But with HelloFresh... You can turn busy weeknights into memorable mealtimes with delicious, practical options designed to save you time, like their 15-minute meals, okay? Wow. Make hosting this holiday a joy rather than a hassle with help of HelloFresh Market. From crowd-pleasing meat and cheese boards to photo-worthy desserts, it's easy to add these party pleasers to your weekly order, saving you so much time. HelloFresh has over 45 recipes and more than 100 seasonal add-on items to choose from every week, so it's easier than ever to find something everyone will enjoy. Spend your time this month shopping for gifts and sipping cocoa, not stuck in the checkout line like a loser. Sign up for HelloFresh and get everything you need to whip up a fresh, tasty meal delivered to your door. Just choose your recipes, select a delivery date, and relax knowing dinner is on the way. HelloFresh makes cooking easy, affordable... Uh, and takes the hassle out of grocery shopping and finding a recipe. The other night, I made their sweet potato fajitas with pickled jalapenos and lime crema. It was so simple and delicious. Oh, man, it was good. Man, I'm thinking about it right now. Holy shit. Hey, can we, hey, can we eat one of those up again? <laughs> that was so good. 
<laughs> Go to HelloFresh.com slash stretch free and use code stretch free for free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life at HelloFresh.com slash stretch free with code stretch free. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Nah, man, Japan is like, or at least Tokyo is interesting because some of the restaurants. A lot of anime stuff there, right? Um, yeah, I think that's something they do. <laughs> I think that's something yeah. that they they got you know a pretty good sense about. I, I, I keep I keep walking around. I'm just like I see a lot of the stuff in Barnes and Noble. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have a thing called Crunchyroll. Have you heard of that? Yeah, they kind of have a lot of stuff just like this. Yeah. Did you guys get that from us or what? <laughs> Tokyo. Some restaurants in Tokyo are. It's it's funny. The just the the culture of efficiency you know uh yeah. it's it's not a sit around and chat um yeah eat then get the fuck out yeah it's it yeah it's a lot of that which i i like i think it's really funny the way they do it though because one night me alina and one of our friends uh we went to a ramen spot <laughs> they had three chairs open up and they were they were separated and the guy was like all right so we're gonna split you up and like in America, that would be like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> but in Japan, it's like, yeah, we're splitting up. And if you want to eat right now, you're gonna you're gonna break up the party right now. And so we ate, we ate across from each other. But we was didn't it just even in silence, or did you yell over each other? No, it did, yeah, it was silence. Didn't even feel like that type of. Mm -hmm. You could speak, and we could probably hear each other across the room. Oh wow! So it was yeah. just deathly quiet. Yeah. And then um, there's a person hanging around the front in this particular ramen spot. And the second you appeared to be finished, can I take your plate? Can I take your bowl? Oh, I don't like that. Yeah. It was like, get out. Yeah. I like to, I like to let it just sit for a second. Yeah. No, not here. Oh, well, you know, there, there's, you know, I, 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 I feel like maybe in that case too, you wouldn't eat such a heavy meal. You'd probably eat something that's nice and brisk. You get up and just leave immediately. You would you would think, but the, this place I went to, it was like a truffle based ramen. It was insane. It was so good. It was so good. <laughs> Where are you going for Christmas? Uh, travel wise, yeah, probably Barbados. Nah, nah, I'm staying home, man. I'm I'm trying to just chill out. Oh yeah, yeah. Why? Um. Yeah, why? <laughs> you love the road. You're true. You, when you're when you're wanting to relax, you go somewhere. That's, I that's know what you do. I'm, but I'm trying to force myself to just be home. Just trying to be home. So you're, it's it's like it, it's not that you want to be home. It's just that you're forcing yourself to do something that maybe you feel like you should be doing. Yeah, in a way, because yeah, my my natural instinct is like I get cagey and I want to go somewhere, but I'm just trying to make myself be still. That's fair. Yeah. Are you going? You going anywhere for Christmas? No. Well, Vegas. Well, yeah, no. I, I, for my birthday, I'm going to Vegas. Yeah. So where that's, that's where are you way. staying? What's the room number? Uh, f I almost said it. <laughs> <laughs> I ironically almost said it. I don't know why I would. Yeah, I'm. I'm getting so lost in this that I was like, oh yeah, let me tell you exactly where I'm at. That's what social engineering is. It's just <laughs> striking at the right moment. Yeah. I'm turning. Uh, I'm turning 43. Big, it's be big, big number. That is a big number, dude. I'm getting yeah. up there in age. I'm too old now. Yeah, I'm too old to be hanging out with all these young whippersnappers. Yeah. Well, you know, man, it's just your age is showing. You know, you're out here dishing advice, but you're just a fucking hack. That is true. That's absolutely true. Oh, those were lovely comments. I think for my uh, 43rd birthday, what I'd like to get myself is a Pontiac Fiero with 174,000 <laughs> miles on it. <laughs> Finally treat yourself after all this hard work. Yeah, kind of just like give myself a little something. I mean, I have 800 bucks to spare, so I thought I might as well spend it on something sick. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, dude. Look at that thing. Ironically, I've like, never, never once in my life, never, never once in my life, that top left one is the one I've seen most. I have never seen a Pontiac Fiero 
that clean ever before. They're usually in a junkyard or they're yeah. dusty, like the paint is chipped off. Yeah. They had the right idea with this, honestly. Unironically, I like this car a lot. I love the body of them. They're yeah. sick. They're very, very, very small, though. Yeah. I had a friend who was like five foot two, and his parents, for some reason, had two of them. They had a white and a black one. Mm. And he, uh, he would drive one. He, like, one of them was his commuting car for a long time before it just like died. But if you're over like, if, ser- if seriously, if you're over like five nine, that is, it's, there's just no way. It's just not a comfortable car to be in. I'll find out. You, can, I would see you zipping around in a Pontiac Fiero. Yeah, I can, I could definitely get down with this. Just more of me of, of me cosplaying like I'm from the Midwest. I've been kind of thinking about getting into van life, dude. Have you actually? Kind of. I've been wanting to a little bit. To actually go places or you just want? No, 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 no. God, no. I'm not going to be. No, 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 no. You misunderstand what I'm saying. I'm not one of the fucking people who's like, this is my plant. And this is my bed. I'm not that kind of fucking van. I'm talking about like the like a 1983 Ford van, spray paint the side, you know, no seats in the back, got carpet down. That's the van I'm talking about, pretty much. (laughs) The free candy thing um, (laughs) is trying to assume that I'm a pedophile, which I'm not. I just want you to know that I. it's a cool van. Why don't you type in cool van, dude? That is a pretty cool van, though. Like, I would take that van and do something with it. (laughs) Pretty awesome to drive that. (laughs) Just (laughs) that'd be... That'd be tight. Just shake. Not ironically, having that be your that'd be so crazy to have that be your uh, <laughs> your daily driver. Yeah, your day, your your commuter. Yeah, no, no. Do like a do like a night. Uh, I don't. I don't know what the fuck. Airbrush van. Airbrush van. I don't know. How, I don't know what the fuck they're called. All I know is people. What they do is they put. They'll put the. They'll they'll lift the van up. Whatever they put like lifts on it. Like this is the kind of van I want, dude. Ah, oh, the Chevy I the, Astro. I want this kind of shit. Yeah. I want one of these and this to be like, this is what I want my daily commuter to be. Just. Yeah, this would be. How fun. sick is that? Yeah, that. I mean, come on. That, that is, is just tight. Honestly, I love it. It's so cheesy and stupid. I love it. I could see you in this, though, man. I think you should do it. That's what I'm saying is I'm getting so robust that the fatter the person, the more appropriate you look in the van. Yeah, this would be hardcore. What is that one? Click, click, click that one. Isn't that just hover over? Yeah, this is. I can't see. I'm trying to see what the the paint. Oh, nice. Yeah, look at that horse. Beautiful. Dude, this I would is just like fucking, the, You know what? The, you know what I put on the side of mine. Huh? On the left side, it'd be a lion wrestling an alligator in a swamp. Yeah. And the other side would be uh, would be Oppenheimer playing chess with uh, <laughs> King Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> And on the back, it'd be uh, the Queen's Gambit. Yeah. Just the show. Just the promotional poster. It's not even painted on. It's just like a decal or whatever. People are like, what the fuck is going on? Just an ad? Just to pay for the fucking van? That is awesome. That is... I love that. Could you imagine getting a van this cool and then just ruining it with a Marvel mural? Yeah, an Avengers 2 Age of Ultron mural <laughs> just on the side like, of your van. Ew. People were like, God, the worst one. Oh, there it is. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Get this person's address and kill them. Your, and your your horn is the Avengers theme song? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What the? Oh, what's this sex scene going on here? Yeah, I actually like that. See, I like this, man. This is tasteful. Yeah, let's see. This is not, this is actually. I think this is a Frank Frazetta painting. <laughs> not ironically, I think it is. Okay. And old, those old. They a lot of those people will take. They'll do, they'll do like Frank Frazetta uh, paintings on the side of their vans, which is cool. But old sci or old like fantasy, high yeah. fantasy painter Frank Frazetta. He's the king, the goat. What's yeah, his name I, I don't know. What's I've been again? looking into that though. Yeah. I've been looking into it because I was like, this might be something kind of fun to. Uh, this might be something kind of fun to get into, but obviously it's just extremely expensive and stupid and I don't need it. But one day, like if I ever was just like, I have just like some money was of no issue. I would definitely like to me like that right there, the one, the one, the van that you're hovering over right now, click that. Just like the shape of that is fun to me. Yeah. This particular uh, van, like with that single circular window. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's very stupid, but at the same time, if you could say that, like if I could put a fucking, 
if I could put a backup camera on it and an Apple CarPlay, I'd be set. I I think that's a hundred percent possible. It'd be probably imagine trying to hook up that. You'd have to like put a new computer into it and shit. Yeah, yeah. Those old ass fucking yeah. That, that'd be hey, you, you could. It would just cost a gazillion dollars. I bet. Well, you know, you got 112 computers in your house. You just yank one out. Oh yeah, download some stuff. Yeah, yeah, I don't like the. Well, I kind of like the rainbow part of it coming out of his asshole. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the flames look bad. I wouldn't want the flames. Dude, the predator one is sick. Hell oh, but well they yeah. put it on the side of what is that? A a, a Ford Transit? <laughs> yeah. Dude. That is awesome. That's like a that's like a like a nine hundred dollar car and they spent like probably like seven thousand dollars getting the predator professionally painted on the side of it. Probably Dude, what they gotta do is they gotta have a... So in Predator One, it's Arnold Schwarzenegger, and then, so you have to have Arnold on one side, and on the other side you have Danny Glover from Predator Two. That would be so sick. <laughs> the Predator Mobile. If you put Arnold on the other side, you got to do the scene where he's got the machete going across his chest. I like that. And then your horn could be the Predator sound. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The the clicking. Yeah. The- <laughs> Bro, are you um? <laughs> oh, you see, that? see that pl- see that planet picture right there scroll up a little bit you know what fucking ag- annoys the shit out of me on tiktok uh. are people who do the fucking the the space paintings with spray cans and shit i'm like all right now get your bowl here Psst, oh. pull that up, pull up that whatever up. is it like mimicking the the street painters like that's I guess I don't know. It's it's just the same shit every time. I don't know why. And the thing too is I'm always just like, that oh, looks nice at the end. I'm always like, that oh, looks nice. <laughs> yeah, you're you're so hateful right up until the fucking. And look at this dirty bitch, dude, just sitting on the ground spraying everything up. <laughs> Good lord. So you hate these? Uh, you hate these galaxies? Nick started man. his own crypto coin, and he's a fucking billionaire. So he's this is his last day on the job. <laughs> he's calling himself the Wolf of Crypto, dude. <laughs> Yeah, this is this just pisses me off. Like, <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. Look at this. <laughs> Unironically, would would frame this and put it in my house if I had it. <laughs> <laughs> really, I'm just looking at it. and I'm just like, I hate myself. That's mostly the yeah. That's what I that's what I find. I will say that is the shittiest looking galaxy I've ever seen in my life. Like, <laughs> maybe put a hair more effort into the fucking galaxy. <laughs> this looks like a sweet match the gathering playmat. Yeah, it does. Or like a nice... Which also, big news for me today. I got myself one Christmas gift this year. And it's mostly, it was charitable because my my team gets to use it as well. I mostly did it just because I have to buy my friendship with everybody. Nobody organically wants to hang out with me. Everybody hates me, so I have to buy them things. Now, now... That being said, no, no, no. Let me Quick question about that. Quick question about that. No, no, no. Let me finish. No, 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 no. I have... Because I I got to be clear on this. Modular gaming table coming in today... It's been five months in the making, and it's it's coming in today, and I'm celebrating my break, and I'm going to play a bunch of board games. I'm going to play a bunch of uh, Magic the Gathering, and as a thought, too, I think that I was going to get a, a giant table Magic the Gathering play mat, because you can, you can get art for... Like, if you have art, you can commission, like, table size ones. Yeah. And I'm going to get a commission of a painting of me, Nick, and Harry playing Magic, and that'll be our gaming table mat. Isn't that cute? Exactly. It's this. It's Wormwood. Exactly. That's literally the one I got. Look at that. Wow. It came in? What? It's here. Yeah. Oh. Oh, dude. I'm so hard right now. That is sick. I can't wait. That's good to know, man. I got to get, Noah, I got to get you, uh, I got to get you into magic, dude. You don't have to get me into it. I got to get you into it. Nah. What did you- I hate that they have Monopoly as a fucking like example. It's like, are you are you fucking kidding me? Because that's how they're gonna make their money, man. They can't sell it to only Magic dude, that, players. Dude, no, no, no. The board game market is insane. No, the, the board, board game, game market, market like, is kick- insane. Have you but- seen a Kickstarter for board games? It's insane. Yeah. No, the market is insane. But what I'm what I'm saying is, they need to appeal to the mass. And no Magic player has money to buy a modular gaming table because they oh, spend all their sir, money. You don't. You do not know Magic players. 
yeah, there's there's people who live in trailers who spend all of their fucking all of their life's money just on like tens of thousands of dollars on magic cards. No, that's what I'm saying is all their money's in the cards so they can't afford the fucking table. No, 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 what I'm saying is that they would subsidize they would subsidize some of the budget to to get the table if they really wanted to. Oh, it's only it's only 1200 bucks. No, it, it goes up. Oh, for the sp- Oh, got it. All right. This yeah, is the this is the fucking venti uh magic table. <laughs> You ain't even in the conversation with this one. I can't even wait, dude. Christmas literally just came right fucking now. I'm so excited. Is it really heavy? I I thought it was going to be heavy. It's probably many bucks. Like, there's one that's probably the base that's maybe heavy. Was it only the table or is it the, also the, no, the, like the bench? Really? Mm. I also got a, a nice bench so no one has to worry about seats. That's so comfortable. Yeah, that oh, so that isn't here yet? That's Fuck! We knew that. <sighs> God damn it. Now we have to, now we have to sit around like a bunch of fucking goons, dude. This bullshit. Why did it sit around like a bunch of goons? Well, I had these really nice benches coming, but they're not here yet. So now you have to get all these like mismatched fucking chairs <laughs> and sit around like a bunch of fucking idiots, dude. Instead of having nice cushiony benches that match the table, right? And now I finally get to we get to deck out the upstairs. Now we are waiting for this is the literal last piece of the puzzle to go up there to start like. Doing stuff. See, I even got that. I even got that right there. <laughs> Magnetic cup tray. So you go up there, and I could. You could have drinks, all kinds of stuff. I got dice holders. Mm. All good. Look at that. That's a bottle. Of, that's a that's a glass of Coke Zero. That's you right there, bro. <laughs> no, I. Yeah. See, I got that. I got that. No, I'm. I'm a gin and tonic guy now. Coke Zero is in my past. I wouldn't mind to have a gin and tonic, please. Uh. Yeah, pull, pull me pours, Hendrix because that's my a new half favorite shot. drink. That's too much. Pull it out. Yeah, less. <laughs> I fucking hate gin and tonic. Honestly, why? The g- gin and tonic is. I mean, I, did you did you watch? Well, of course you didn't because you don't watch anything I do. But the I did a video on my channel, which is the the uh, I because I, I did a talk blind to taste you, motherfucker. Contest. <laughs> I did I did a blind taste contest on my channel, and gin gin and Bacardi was like the worst. All the gin was terrible. Yeah, I told you I started hey, no, so that video, kind of and I told you I didn't like, finish oh, it. Tonic. Can I get a? Can I just get a soda, but not have it be fun? I just want. I just want to feel bubbly. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So what's what's a besides besides Jackie D? What's a good drink to you then? What's a good liqueur? Oh, oh. I love a nice. Uh, wait, you're just talking about liqueur. You're just talking about cocktails. I like. Oh, let's go cocktails. My favorite, well, let me tell you my favorite wintertime cocktail since we're going on break and people aren't going to hear from me or not from us until 2026, yeah. which is uh, I start off the season with a nice white Russian. Mm, I like white Russian. A nice, a nice, nice white Russian. I like having those in the morning. My, one of my favorite cocktails in the, in, for cold winter months is a gold rush. The gold rush is the uh, it's like whiskey. It's a little bit of honey, lemon. Um, it's very, very good. Dude, it's a nice. It's 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 extremely refreshing, and dare I say, um, easy. Like it, it, it's not complicated. It kind of just uh, it says hello in a fun way. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about gin and tonic people being pretentious, and you just said that. I don't even want to Absolutely, you know why? Because gin and tonic people do that is because they're trying to tell you, like, yeah, I'm publicly letting you know I'm watching my figure. No one ever goes to a bar and orders a gin and tonic unless, unless they're just like, I just don't want to be bad. It's like, fuck off, dude. It's rubbing alcohol with tasteless, bubbly water. Fuck off. And then people say, even Harry came in. He's like, it's nice with lime. Fuck off, Harry. <laughs> it's not nice with lime. That's all I said. Yeah, the lime is the best part. You know I'd say? I, I want a virgin lime, is what I'd say. Virgin lime? <laughs> I know I'd say, but really you can't. I don't think you can actually be a nice Jack, a Jack and Coke, or even a Captain Coke. I just don't think you can do it. Yeah, I will say Crown Apple is good. Crown Apple with Coke or Sprite is delicious. But I think Jack, Jack and Coke and Captain Coke, you just simply can't go wrong. Yeah. Well, they do do the deck uh, and Coke with a Coke Zero in a can now, so I'm kind of curious about that. I we got some of it. It's delicious. Yeah. No. Nah. We had some uh, at the Austin race. It was very good. Oh, that's right. We did. You get yeah. That's right. I forgot they did. They have the Coke Zero on there too. They did. Um, <laughs> I was up there at the front. Like yeah, no, the Coke Zero. 
Yeah, Coke Zero. The Coke Zero one, please. Yeah. If I have sugar, I will die. Yeah. You know, it's funny. Um, I the brought person. my levels down because I was I was testing pre-diabetic about a year ago. Really? Yeah. It's crazy how that can just hit hit people like that, man. Yeah. That's bullshit. So um, I, I just got my levels down, but I was laughing because I'm like, of course I got my levels down because I can't eat anything that's fucking fun. No. No, it's fair. That's fair. Yeah. I'm too. I I don't I don't want to go to the doctor because I don't want any bad news. So I'm just not going. <laughs> Dude, you might be all right though. You never know. You never know. I think whenever I start sitting there, like the problem is every time that I ever am thinking about going to the doctor, I always think about having red velvet cake. And I have red velvet cake, and then I freak out because whenever you have red velvet cake, your shit is always like blood red. Yeah. So I'm like, oh my god, I'm fucking dying. Yeah. Because then I remember thinking about the. Uh, <laughs> The Total Biscuit interview on the H3 podcast where he was like, oh, I just had blood in my stool. And I was like, that's embarrassing. I'm not going to go to the doctor. And then he, you know, just never went. So now I'm like, I'm kind of just waiting for a sign. But at the same time, this could be my sign. Is that, really, is what, my sign. Is that really what happened to Total Biscuit? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Because I thought he said that he was like, he started noticing in his stool, but he was like, you know, it was just uncomfortable to like bring up or whatever. And then by the time he went, it was like pretty much too late to do anything that drastic. I think oh I could be misremembering and I don't want to like, I really don't want to put that out there if it's wrong, but I'm pretty sure I remember that in the interview. Gosh, which is horrible. And I honestly, that interview has like, <clears throat> that interview has stuck with me. Uh, f- I mean, forever. Yeah, rest in peace to the man. For real, unbelievable. I mean, like seriously, the like I, th- I think about that shit all the time. Yeah. Well, because he was even talking about like, uh, you know, you should you shouldn't be forty years old and going to get a colonoscopy. Like you should go and get tested like way younger. Yeah, just to make sure you're good to go. You know what I mean, dude? Go go, just go get your blood drawn. Hmm. Go get. <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> huh? Oh, I'm sorry. What did you say? Wait, what did you say? Good, dude. Dude, let's let's come back. January 2026, and you're just ozempicked out. One year ozempic, hard lifting. You're a runner guy. You're just you're David Goggins. You just completely flip it. I look. I, everyone's like, he looks seven years older, but it's just because I have no like fat on my face anymore. So yeah. It just looks like an actual skull. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I've never been healthier. <laughs> Dude, go get your blood work, man. What an amazing year of stretch and fade. What was your favorite moment of this year, huh? This is our first year. Right? Or did we start last year? We started this year. Did we start this year? We started this year. Honestly, yeah, this year. honestly, coming to KC was a highlight. I I had a lot of fun. Um was another great moment. Uh, the possum. The po- I mean, the possum in the wall is just. That's that that life shit that you just can't write. Uh, yeah. What else? Let me think of a maybe like a deeper cut. When I got in a car accident. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. When. Yeah. When you. <laughs> yeah. When you were here. When Hovey was driving through <laughs> through suburban neighborhoods at seventy three <laughs> miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, that was a. If anything, that told a lot about me because I instantly believed that Ovi would have done that. Yeah, so, that was uh, that was a very funny series of texts. So now Ovi, like, Ovi now knows I don't think she's a good driver. I'm That's not bullshit. a good driver. She's picked she's picked us up safely every time. <laughs> there has been minor close calls, but we've gotten here <laughs> safely every time. Everyone in the studio is like. <laughs> 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 What a lovely year. A lovely year of stretch and fade. Yeah. Um, thank you, everyone, for listening this year. Um, you know, it's honestly, it's been great. Uh, thank you, Hunter, for for making us part of your, uh, your creative life, man. Wow. Thank you, Noel, for making me a part of your creative life, too. And thank you for all of the TMG people who put this shit together uh, yes. to go up and, and, and be broadcast to everybody. And a big shout out to Nick who, uh, you know, helps me basically run my entire life uh, with cameras. And yes. Stuff. So thank you, Nick, as well. Yes. Big thank you to Nick. Uh, big thank you to Ovi. I'm excited for my Christmas gift. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it's coming. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh, and you know what? Uh, just to top it off, I like Luke telling me to get my wife a wiener toaster. <laughs> I mean, you get nothing, wiener does, nothing does scream uh, Happy New Year's like a wiener toaster did. <laughs> I ironically may buy one of these now. It is insulting that you can only cook two wieners at a time. Yeah. Well, no, because they know, man. They know if you could cook six in there, they, like they would have lawsuits. They'd be killing people. Oh, it comes in aqua. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it comes. Did you, did you hear that? Did you hear that, Hunter? Yeah. Oh, it comes in aqua. Wow, what a quote. <laughs> oh, it comes in aqua. <laughs> I don't like that they're making it look like a retro 1950s thing. There you go. There's the fucking... Whoa. There's the... Four <laughs> slot hot dogs for 37 <laughs> My God. All right, bye. Happy New, uh, Happy New Year. Happy holidays. Love you. Kisses. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs>